Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. You know, I love our musical guests. And today I have a very patient, talented man. Mark Winters is with us. We're going to talk about rock or rocking with a pop positive vibe. He's going to perform for us. Uh, we're going to talk. I love that title of the show, by the way. Uh, going to perform for, for us and share his journey. Welcome, Mark. How are you this morning or this afternoon? I guess it is for me. Uh, yeah, for me, it's a, it's, it's late morning. Uh, it's all good. I'm, I'm having a great day, Ted. I'm glad to be here. It's a, it's a beautiful day here in, uh, in Houston, Texas. Love it. And thank you for the positivity because we switched your time uh, today. But thank you for being flexible. All right. Before we went live, I told you the audience loves origin story. They want to know a little bit about you. Did you did you sing in front of your parents with a pretend microphone? Like, give us a little 411 on your journey. Uh, to becoming a full-time musician. Yep. Uh, so uh, my my journey uh, started probably for, for me. It started uh, with more poetry than singing. Um, my uh, my grandmother uh, Dean was uh, um, an amazing woman. Uh, when I grew up, I was surrounded by you know brothers and cousins. We're all you know boys and. It was pretty rowdy and rambunctious everywhere, and we'd go visit her uh, for the summer. And uh, I was amazed by her ability to sort of get everyone doing something creative and artistic without, you know, being overbearing and forcing you. Uh, and that really, uh, for me, was very impactful because uh, probably when I was five, I can remember sitting down with her and writing poetry and painting. Uh, and it was uh, pretty, pretty awesome for me. And so. Throughout my whole life, she was a, a poetry pal of mine. Uh, we used to share poetry back and forth. Uh, and uh, that really helped me learn to express myself with words. Um, and I really didn't connect that to music, although, you know, music moves me and it lifts my mood and changes me, you know, yeah, changes my mood. Uh, it's always been impactful in my life, but I never really took the step to perform it until uh, an anniversary with my wife. Uh, and I decided, okay, stop procrastinating. You're a poetry writer. Uh, why don't you, you know, uh, do what you've always thought about doing and pick up a guitar and, uh, and sing a song for your wife. Um, and uh, so was that nerve wracking? Cause it's one thing to write yeah. poetry. It's another thing to put music to it and then perform it with music. You could perform as a poet, yeah. But a musician is a whole different thing. Was it was it nerve wracking? Uh, you know, I'm a pretty bonsai guy, so I'd say <laughs> I don't get a lot of stage fright. Um, I just sort of you know dive into things. So um, you know, I guess it it was intimidating. It's probably a good way to describe it. It's a lot of things to do, and I put myself on a short timeline. I I bought a guitar. I gave the guy I bought the guitar from six weeks to help me learn the song, and I uh, really didn't have any musical training. Um, and so we, and we had to do it all on the sly. So my wife didn't know what's going on. Uh, so it, it worked out great. I, I learned the song. Uh, I had to make a, a giant anniversary card to put on the, cause I played it out in a restaurant. So I had to make a giant rest, this giant anniversary card that had the music embedded in it. Uh, which, so I could, I, cause I couldn't remember everything, you know? Uh, so it was, it was awesome. Uh, to me, I fell in love with delivering a message to someone else in a musical context. Uh, you, know, you know, words matter, they've always mattered. You know, adding music to it made it more impactful. Uh, I, just, I just fell in love with the whole experience and I said, okay, I, this is what I'm gonna do, you know? Interesting to me, so many questions come to mind. First of all, when you performed it, did you get emotional? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, you know, I'd say uh, I was probably yeah, caught, I think I think early on as a musician, you sort of get caught up in the thing, right? You're like, okay, chords, melody, you know, pitch accuracy, you know. So you're thinking about the technicals of things, and so to me, that sort of takes my mind away from the emotionality of it. So I was probably more emotional as I was starting and as I was finishing, and I was sort of riding the current uh, during the song. Uh, you know, today I get a lot more emotional because I'm thinking about those things less and I'm, I'm really concentrating on the connection. It's, it's fascinating to me because I always ask that. I love to ask that question with performers because uh, some performers just they get in the, they, they get emotional every time they sing. And some of them 
uh, they get emotional when they see the audience reacting to uh, the performance and the words and the music. Uh, but I'd love to hear that because I think it's so important because if I see you getting emotional, I've got an immediate connection to you as the performer and the song and the message of the song. And so I think that's a that's a gift. I have to ask you about the music part. So uh, if I said to somebody, I've got this poem and um, it's only going to take me six weeks to uh, learn how to play guitar, I would laugh at myself and it would never happen. So did you just pick it up naturally? Did you have a natural um, a natural tendency or, or did you know what you were doing? How did you learn that in six weeks? Um, well, I, I th I'd say two things. One, you know, I'm, you know, uh, a pretty disciplined person. So when I decide I'm going to do something, then, you know, I find out, you know, generally speaking, how other people who do the thing put their routines together to learn it. Uh, and so I kind of went in and, and did some research to find out, okay, how, you know, what kind of repetitions do you need and those sorts of things. Um, but, you know, I'd say I'm, you know, uh, you know, I'm also, um, you know, a fairly science minded person. And so, you know, the, the, you know, the combination of doing the guitar work and, and singing, you know, there's some science element that goes with music. So I kind of resonated with that a little bit. Um, and I'm a great multitasker. Um, and so, um, you know, that came to my my aid, I guess, in the process. Um, you know, and then my daughter helped me because uh, we sort of set the environment up. Uh, so when my wife was away at work, we set up a little table and we pretended we were in the restaurant and, and I went through the reps live right like it was in the setting and she gave me pointers uh, but you know uh, i'd say the guitar work probably came a little easier for me than the singing part um i didn't really uh, you know I, I think we all kind of sing happy birthday uh but you know singing on a pitch uh or something yeah, there's a lot of people who think they can sing hence the american idol auditions it's always yeah. a uh, interesting thing yeah tell me about um the process though it's one thing to write to get motivated to write a song for your wife it's another thing to move to progress that to move that to being a musician uh, full-time or as close to full-time as possible uh what was that transition like did you have to convince yourself this is what i'm going to do and you go full in uh did you kind of did somebody drag you along how did that go how did you make the transition to of uh, being markwinnersmusic.com and, and having this uh, career uh, that's musical oriented. Yeah, um, I'd say uh, probably in, in three steps for me. So one was sort of just the joy of the performance with my, with my wife that really made me want to do it and made me want to express myself in that way. Uh, I found some other people, uh, you know, in the area who um, formed a cover band with me and uh, they were all extremely gifted and experienced musicians. And so I, I drafted off of them a lot, learning uh, to play uh, in a four piece band. And I really, uh, when I first started out, I just wanted to get one gig, right? It's like, I just wanna play somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so we, we started, you know, uh, we all became great friends and we played out uh, maybe 20 times a year over a four or five year span. And I really was enjoying that. Um, and then um, I had uh, taught a conversation with my wife and I had an opportunity to, you know, to, to step out of my previous, you know, work into more of a musical, you know, oriented life. And my wife was very supportive of that. She's a nurse. She's amazing. Uh, Love it. You know, she uh, anyway, so she was very supportive. So I wrote my first album, uh, at the, you know, uh, started writing it in 2019. I finished writing it in uh around May or so of, of 2019 and I uh, got it all ready to go out and, uh, you know, started putting some singles out and, and booking some uh, performances uh, between H Texas, Houston and, and Austin. And, uh, you know, as I started rolling out, COVID started rolling in. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> uh, ergo step number three in my process. Uh, so I was going out behind my album and uh, then I ended up taking a uh, a right turn at Albuquerque uh, and uh, became online guy, right? Because yeah. the, you know all the music venues shut down, and so I found a way to support charities, 
online through doing uh, live streams. Uh, you know, I, I learned how to do streaming, uh, ticketed live stream uh, stuff uh, and raised, you know, almost $15,000 over the course of 12 months for amazing charities uh, for the food bank and for Big Brothers, Big Sisters and some animal rights uh, charities. Uh, and along the way, that was my step number three. It was singer songwriter. I hadn't really been singer songwriter guy because I kind of grew up in the context of a band. And right. so coming out of COVID, um, I uh, started getting involved with the Houston singer songwriter community, uh, which I never even knew uh, any of the people there. Um, and uh, there's some amazing people here in Houston. This guy, Jay Bize, runs a, an open mic series that's uh, pretty amazing for people who are at all levels of their career, people who just want to come out and sing for the first time or play for the first time, uh, all the way up to you know, touring musicians or, or people who are from the area who might be working on a new song and they want to share it with the, the uh, singer songwriter community. Uh, so there's a number of them around town that uh, uh, I've attended and that's been super awesome for me to connect with the singer songwriter community. And sort of coming out now of COVID, I wrote my second album, my sophomore album, uh, put my band back together. Uh, but I've also now fallen in love with the intimacy of the singer songwriter journey. Uh, and so I'm out uh, playing as a singer songwriter as well as a full band. And um, uh, now I've got to decide uh, probably which direction I want to go. <laughs> I'm trying to do them both at the same time. You know, it's, it's pretty awesome. Well, now I totally understand why we're why it's rock with a positive vibe. You have truly one of the most positive vibes. I love that. I think it's I think it's important. It comes across. So I imagine it obviously comes across when you're interacting with the audience, when you're songwriting, when you're uh, doing all that. Why is a positive vibe important to you? It, I, I, if, if people who don't know, I let I always ask the guests to choose a title for their show just to see what uh, will come up. Uh, and I'm always amazed at the different titles. So wh why this title and why a positive vibe? Yeah, I, um, I, I guess in, in, inherently or intrinsically, I'm, I'm a, a positive person. I'm the glass half full guy. Uh, so, you know, as I see uh, something happening around me, a challenge in my life, um, I, I always think, OK, how am I going to solve this? How am I going to get through it? Um, you know, I, I rarely, you know, get discouraged from a thing. Uh, if I find someone new that I meet in my life, uh, I'm usually looking for the good in them and, and where that resonates with me and, and, and how to make them, you know, uh, a better person uh, or how to make myself a better person. Uh, so, you know, anytime I get into a conflict, the first thing I, I try to do is, uh, you know, look at myself, you know, what am I doing? Am I being, you know, the best person that I can be? Um, and then, you know, if I am, okay, well, how do I help other people? You know, find that same journey. Uh, I think there's so much. Uh, there's there's a lot of people in the world who are more negative. You know, they have more of a negative signal about them. Very much so. Uh, and and that really bothers me because you know, there's no real there's no need for that. You know, we can all live in the world together. Uh, we can all have different perspectives on things. Um, and and if we're open minded and you know if we listen to each other. I think that creates a lot more harmony in the world and, and makes the world a better place. Uh, so that's what positive vibe. As a matter of fact, I wrote a song about it. Uh, it's called Signal. It's about putting out uh, good signals and uh, taking good signals back or being aware of the signal you're putting out and being aware of the signals that are coming in from other people and how those are affecting you and how you're affecting the other people. Uh, you, your positivity is contagious, I must tell you. I'm smiling the whole time. All right. So uh the big event so we you're going to perform for us i'm going to take myself off tell them a little bit about what you're going to sing give them a little history or 411 on the message and then uh take it away yep. uh, so uh i'm going to play for you uh a song about my lovely wife uh i thought since we talked about her at the top of uh the show uh as being sort of the first person i performed for uh, she has this beautiful copper colored hair it's like a cross between red and blonde um, and when i met her she was this uh, windsurfing girl hanging out uh in a bikini on the beach and uh so this is a a little bit of a bikini beach vibe song uh it's called uh copper queen and uh gonna gonna share it with you now Surprise! 
top of speed, Lord, here she goes. Sails on in into the wind, my copper queen, she's all I need. Life is warm and bright, my copper queen, love me tonight. Oh my God. So tell me what she, Copper Queen, tell me what she, when you perform that, uh, does your wife get all, I mean, it's so romantic, right? So, I mean, that's a beautiful thing to pay homage to your wife. Um, does she get emotional when she hears you perform songs that she knows are written with her in mind? She does. She does. Uh, she's a pretty emotional gal. You know, she's a, uh, she's a nurse. She's got uh, an amazing compassion for the world and for people and for animals as well. Um, and so, you know, she's definitely inclined to uh, the waterworks, as she would call it. She'll, <laughs> she'll tear up. Um, and uh, yeah, if she starts doing that, then I get choked up. You know? I mean, I was going to say, I would, I can't, I have a hard time watching anyone cry. So I would just be a blithering idiot if I started yeah. to see, if I saw Stacy would not want me to sing to her, uh, my wife. All right. Tell me, how we can find your music because guys you know our artists like mark um it's okay to stream we want some streaming but we'd love for you to buy some of their songs and follow them and support them on their on their journey tell them the best way to do that mark thank you ted for that yeah i uh, uh on my website you'll find links to all of my streaming uh so uh, markwintersmusic.com there's a, a link for Apple Music and Spotify, my YouTube channel, uh, Amazon, a variety of others. Um, I'm really excited. I have a, a new album coming out March 11th, uh, and you can purchase that album uh, on Amazon. You can also purchase that album uh, digitally on Apple Music. Um, and so both of those will be awesome to support me uh, in my artist journey. Uh, and you can also purchase it uh, on my website uh, as well at markwintersmusic.com uh, under the merchandise section. Beautiful, my friend. Thank you so much. I love the positivity. Come back on any time as you release a new single, maybe, if people still do that. Um, please come back on and perform for us. Markwintersmusic.com. And you can find Mark Winters Music on all of the musical and social media platforms. Thanks for taking time out and being so flexible, my talented friend. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Chad. I really appreciate being a part of your show. 
All right, guys, we will see you soon.